Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new. My name is Dream and we have another great video because we are kicking off summer with our summer bucket list. By the time you guys watch this video, we will be starting or just about starting my daughter's summer break from school. So I'm super excited. I love a bucket list. It kind of guides you in the right direction and just you put down all of your ideas and the things that you want to do for each season. So our bucket list, we write it on this little acrylic board. It is from Amazon, so I will make sure to have it linked down below, but it comes with this board and then it has this little piece here. Um, you can either use, I use chalk, markers or dry erase um, pencil dry erase markers on it not pencils but um, easy breezy I usually clean it off with a little wet cloth and it comes off pretty well so this year on our summit bucket list um, we have uh, I always go over of some of the highlights or things that my daughter wants to do she's seven years old her highlight of any bucket list is just checking off stuff she absolutely loves doing that but let's get started on our 2024 summer bucket list so first things first on here is splash pad we're probably going to spend quite some time at the splash pad um, in texas it gets quite toasty so any water cooling off activities is greatly appreciated the next the pool will spend last summer i think we were at the pool twice we have a community pool where we live if you guys are new here i live in a new built community in a suburb outside of dallas texas but we will probably spend many 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 days at the pool I like to go early before it gets extra toasty our pool has a pool and a splash pad so you're kind of killing two birds with one stone the next one and we discovered this last year our library and I'm sure yours does too I love getting our library summer guide we always do the library's reading challenge each year our library does it where you read so many minutes you get to pick like a prize or whatnot but also our library offers movies at the library and they do these um, every couple of weeks and we love them. So they're kid friendly movies. You can bring your blankets, your pillows, um, your popcorn, and they have it on a large screen. It's just fun to watch with everybody. Next um, up is check out some summer books. I always switch over my daughter's library in her room to reflect the different seasons since we read to her every night. So um, we love to stack our library with um, library books that we check out. We do have quite a few in our collection, but the library books are affordable and they're free. Next one is a baseball game. And like I said, the, um, I'm so excited to go to a game this year um we have we're actually going to be going to a baseball game in two weeks we have a minor league baseball team that i'm super excited to check out and see and then we also have um, our texas rangers of course so excited to see those that team as well and then next are summer night concerts and we actually have this on the books already we're going to be going to one in a couple weeks um, I love a summer night concert. Even though in Texas here at night time during our summer, it's still going to be about 90 degrees, but at least the sun is down and it's always just fun, um, a fun activity for our grownups and kids alike. The next thing is visit the silos. Waco is a little bit away from Dallas, but not too far. So I'm super excited to take that trip and visit Magnolia, um, their hotel that they did there, and just see all the sites that Waco has to offer. Next, um, Lego Land and our Lego, we have a Lego. It's not like the Lego Land in California. If you didn't know, we are from California. We moved we relocated with my husband's work two, almost two years ago. It would be two years ago at the end of July. But we are excited to check out their little Lego land here. Next is a zoo trip. Love a good zoo trip. Um, then, of course, we need to do some summer crafts. My daughter is quite the crafter. She loves everything crafts. So summer crafts are on the list. And then make a yummy summer treat, whether that's doing 
popsicles or um, baking something or doing something that's no bake. I'm just excited to make a cute, fun summer treat with her. Um, next is the Science Center. So the zoos, the Science Center, all those things I, we have memberships for. And I do that just because we visit them so frequently. My daughter loves them. Um, so it's, in my head, girl math, it's free when we go because we already paid for the membership. The next is blueberry picking, and that's actually going to be opening up also in the next couple of weeks. And I'm so excited to do a little blueberry picking. It's the same farm that we go to for pumpkin patch. So just excited to do a little blueberry picking. Next one, it's our Dallas, like botanical gardens. They call it the Dallas Arbitrarium. I think I'm saying that right. Correct me down below. But um, can't wait just to visit that. It's always so beautiful. The flowers, the scenery. They do have a kid's section. They have a splash pad section as well. So does our science center. So a lot of, uh, and so does our zoo. So a lot of the activities, um, places during the summer, they incorporate a little splashing around because they know the kids are going to be hot and need to cool off a bit. And then last but not least on our list is the aquarium. But that is it for our summer bucket list. Let me know down below what kind of things you have on your summer bucket list. And I am so excited and can't wait to spend this summer with my little girl. I feel immensely lucky that I am a stay-at-home mom. So I'm very grateful that I get to spend the summer with her and we get to do all kinds of fun activities. And a lot of this stuff we include daddy with too because we'll um, plan it during the weekend. But that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know what kind of things you have on your summer, summer bucket list. And if you are in the Dallas, Texas area, um, please let me know some must see sites that we have to go check out. But thanks again and I will see you guys very soon with a whole new one. Bye everybody.